As we know, the operation current of the electromagnetic relay is much higher than the holding current of the contact group in a closed or open position. Accordingly, there is no need to feed the total voltage to the relay coil the whole time of its operation. If the on time of the relay exceeds, for example, 30 seconds, after the switch of contacts, it is appropriate to limit the current flowing through the relay coil. Let's have a look at the standard relay connection circuit, often used in energy efficient electronic devices. When the current passes through the junction, the base emitter of the transistor is missing. The transistor is closed, no voltage is fed to the relay coil. The capacitor voltage is equal to the supply voltage. As soon as the control voltage is supplied to the transistor, it will open and all the stored energy of the capacitor will pass to the relay coil, so that the real relay will be on. Thanks to R2 current limiting resistor, the current flowing through the relay coil will decrease. In this circuit, the nominal value of R2 resistor is selected by the voltage of required the required retention of relay contacts, and the capacitor of C1 capacitor is high enough for its subsequent transfer to power the relay coil.